Hey, welcome back to Beer Geeks Beer Reviews. Today, I got a special one for you. This weekend was a blast. Uh, my son's birthday party, man. Big what up to my son, man. He just turned four years old. Um, but here we got another special one, man. Another uh, anniversary, should I say. Bam, look at that. Stone anniversary, man. Look at that. Look at that. I have a... Um, I'll have an update review on the 16th because I still have a 16th anniversary that I'd like to re-review um, to see how it's changed over the course of a year. Um, but right now, here we go, Stone's 17th. Man, let me adjust this just a tad bit so you can uh, get a better look at the bottle. Here we go. Um, I don't know if I'm ever going to pronounce this right. It is the Guter Dahmer Rung. Gut Damerong. Gut Damerong. Maybe that's how you pronounce this. I have no idea. I do not speak German for the most part. But here it goes, man. Bam. Woohoo. Smokage. Man, I've been anxious to get us up in this, so let's go ahead and do it, man. There's still some smoke coming off this beer as I pour it into the glass. Very, very lovely. Very, very nice. Woo. Still coming up off of there. All right, look at the coloring, man. The coloring is very awesome. A very, very light golden color. And if I get into this light, it almost looks yellow. Look at that. Look at that. I would say that they use a crap ton of nothing but uh, two-row pale malts. I don't think that they say on here. They state that it's an IPA. Um, look at that. Can you all read that? I'm like, dude, I got glasses on, and I still have to get real close to this. I cannot read such small writing, but special edition, so I'm going to let that go. Anywho, um, the one thing that I was kind of anxious to look, aha, uh -huh, right there, enjoy by 11, it looks like 713. Well, it, no, 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 wait, 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 that almost looks like, I don't know, it's kind of destroyed, 11... Maybe even 10, 7, 13? I don't know. All I know is this is a, um, a really good IPA from what I've been hearing. Um, but I don't know. I haven't had it. So let me go ahead and get a nose on this and see what else that we can get into. All right. Prost. Let's get a nose. Ooh. Very light smelling. <sighs> very hoppy. Very biscuity. Like, you get a maltiness, you get a little residual, like, it almost smells like a fresh, wet hop. Very citrusy, very piney, very resinous smelling. Maybe a little, like I said, that little biscuit note, like a little bit of a malty breadiness kind of thing. I don't know. Let's go ahead and get a, uh, a taste up on this, man. I'm, I'm anxious to get up in this. Gross. Wow, very different than what I was expecting. Um, very light, very wet. Um, uh, there, there's a slight residual, you know, ha, um, bitterness to this, but yet you get the malt build to it. I mean, you definitely get that breadiness, you definitely get that pininess, you definitely get that citrus note. Um, but it, it almost drinks like a more hopped up pale ale like a just a regular pale ale that's just almost like you know the, the hot bill was just a little bit overdue um compared to what they were trying for but you no know, I, I know when stone gets it they get it um from what i do understand all the ingredients here were imported from germany um that's just what i was getting from the storyline I like that little, like, uh, nice, fresh, hot citrus kind of snap in the back of the end of the, the mouthfeel, the palate, the, right in the back end of your throat. It just, like, gives you, like, that, bam, okay, I'm hoppy, right there, right about there, as you begin to swallow it. Um, very, very good. Um, if you haven't had it, it's out now. Go ahead and find it. Bam, look at that. One quick review up here by Beer Geeks Beer Reviews saying that this right here is an excellent beer.
Um, I would just call this a single pale ale, if, if anything at all. I don't know if I would go seriously in imperial. Um, everybody tries to add that imperial to everything nowadays, and I really wouldn't do it. This is 9.5 alcohol by volume. I don't know what the IBUs are. It says August release, drink fresh, I'm drinking fresh. I just went ahead and picked this up, you know, over last weekend. I went out to Niles, Ohio and picked it up from the Havana House. Man, get out there, try their beers, find out. You can find some really good things from them. You know, check out the owner, man. The owner's going to big what up to him. Um, and uh, he'll help you out down there if he's there or some of his staff will help you out. Pick out a nice, uh, nice good cigar. Man, I'm still hanging on to this one, and I have a, you know, another one. Very good. A Fuente. Perfect. Um, but, anywho, you know, you can find this man. If you're in my area, get down there, see if they got any left, which I doubt they are a busy, busy place. You know, check them out. You can have a smoke down there. You can drink down there. You know, do not whatsoever drink and drive. Bad thing for you. Check it out now. Stone IPA, 17th anniversary. Big what up? A plus. Very excellent beer. I'm out. Prost.